No more talking. Okay. Oh, one second. Okay, today what we're doing is 45, 45, 90 special right triangles. 45, 45, 90 special right triangles is a shortcut. 45, 45, 90 special right, right triangles, if you learn it, and every single person here can learn it, is quite straightforward, will help you a lot. So, what is a 45, 45, 90 special right triangle? All it is, is a triangle with 45 degrees, 45 degrees, and 90 degrees. And it has a couple of very select properties, three in particular. The first property is that it is a isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle have two legs that are what? Who can, same size, what's another word for same size? Congruent. Is the, are these the legs or is this the leg? Are these the legs or is this the leg? This, this is a leg, this is a leg, this is a hypotenuse. We know the two legs are the same. So if we had this example, 45, 45, 90. If this was 1, what does this one have to be? 90. If this side was 1, what does this side have to be? Also 1. And I'm going to tell you, what we can do is we can use Pythagorean's theorem to figure out what this hypotenuse is. It would be a squared. <coughs> it would be a Pythagorean's theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where c is the hypotenuse. One squared plus one squared is equal to c squared. 1 plus 1 is equal to c squared. 2 is equal to c squared. Square root of 2 is equal to c. I know I did that very fast, but I'm trying to show you something right now. Okay, I'm going to write it weird. You should never write it like this, but I'm trying to show you a pattern. This is really going to be 1 times the square root of 2. Would you ever, ever write it like this? No. That's bad form. But let's figure out this triangle. Let's see if we can see a pattern. Let's say if this was 2, what does this one have to be? Also 2. Now let's figure out what this is. It's going to be 2 squared plus 2 squared is equal to c squared. 4 plus 4 is equal to c squared. 8 is equal to c squared. We need to use, we need to square root both of these. So we have 8, square root of 8 is equal to c. That's not simplified. We know the square root of 8 is really the square root of 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to c. When you do square roots, you're looking for uh, uh, multiples or um, pairs, sorry. We're looking for pairs. How many pairs of 2's do we have? We only have one pair here. So the pairs go to, onto the outside. So that's 2 times the square root of 2 is equal to c. 2 times the square root of 2. Let's, see, let's do one more and see if we can spot the pattern. Let's do 3. What does this one have to be? 3. And let's figure out what this is going to be. 3 squared plus 3 squared is equal to c squared. 9 plus 9 is equal to c squared. 18 is equal to c squared. Square root of 18 is equal to c squared. Oops, sorry. Square root of, square root of c squared. That's going to be the square root of 18 is equal to c. Let's split eight square root of 18. Square root of 18 is 2 times 9, same as 2 times 3 times 3. One pair here, so we know it's going to be 3 times the square root of 2. Do you guys see any pattern that's forming now? That 2, that 2 always reappears. So if I was going to give you this one here, remember this is 45 and 45. This only works for 45, 45, 90s. If I said this was 4, we know this has to be, and what is this going to be? 4 times square root of 2. So the pattern comes from this. 
It will always be like this, every single time. So when you see a 45, 45, 90 special right triangle, you should be like, sweet. I don't have to show any work. We already know what it is. What's faster? Let's say we did something like this, 17, 17, and we already know what that is, right? What is that going to be? Square root of 17 times square root of 2. If we had to use Pythagorean theorem, 17 squared plus 17 squared. Oh, thank you. See you later. 17, 17 squared plus 17 squared. I don't even know what 17 squared is. Yeah, right? So, do you guys... Do you guys see why this is a good shortcut to know? Yes. It will. They show up a lot. 45, 45, 90 show up a lot. You guys want to know what shape they show up a lot in? Squares. They show up in squares. A square is made up of 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 45, 45, 45, 45. It's made up of two 45, 45, 90 triangles. What's a, what, what, what do four, uh, six squares make? Cube. So when you do cubes later, guess what you're going to be using? 45, 45, 90s. Okay. Let's do a couple more examples. Let's say I had something that looks like this. Not like that. Like this. And I said that this was, I don't know, 21 square root 2. What does this have to be? 21. Okay. Let's do some actual examples on the notes. Where should this be glued in? Page 8. Okay. We know this is 6. Is this a 45, 45, 90 special right triangle? Oh, I only see 145. You can't just tell. How many? How Exactly. Not 180 minus 90 is 90. Minus 45 is 45. Okay. Shh. Guys, you guys are being too loud. Okay. These two are the legs. If these two are the legs, these both have to be 6. And what does the hypotenuse have to be? 6 times the square root of 2. You don't have to write the, the dot there. Okay. This one is weird. This is not a hypotenuse. But doesn't that number look like it should be a hypotenuse? This is how you can get messed up, right? You have to pay attention to the position. That This, look, this is a leg. So this is 9 square root of 2. This is 9 times square root of 2. The hypotenuse is going to be 9 times the square root of 2. And what do we always multiply it by? Square root 2. If you have two radicals, you can combine them. If you multiply two radicals, you can combine them. 9 times the square root of 4. What's the square root of 4 going to be? 2. So 9 times 2 is 18. So we know this is actually going to be 18. Alright, what about this one? It says find the missing sides. We are given a hypotenuse. If we're given this hypotenuse, what does this have to be? And this one also has to be 6. These ones are, so 90% of these problems you do 
will follow under those first three kind of category where they're easy. These ones are still easy, but they're a tiny bit trickier. What do I mean by this? This is a hypotenuse, right? That hypotenuse looks like it should be a leg. So what have we been multiplying the legs by to get the hypotenuse? Square root of 2. So we know this hypotenuse is some number times the square root of 2. We know 18 is some number. How do we write some number in mathematics? x times the square root of 2. What's the opposite of multiplying by square root of 2? Dividing. Divide both by square root 2. Cancels out. We have 18 divided by square root of 2 is equal to x. Technically, that is the correct answer, but why will I not accept that? It's not simplified. We never want radicals on the bottom. We always want radicals on top. So, so we're going to multiply the top and the bottom by square root 2. We get 18 times square root of 2 over square root 4. We already know what square root 4 is. What is that? 2. So we have 18 times the square root 2 over 2. That is as simplified as it can get? No, we have to simplify it one more way. What's the last way we can simplify this? Is 18 divisible by 2? So it should be 9, 9 times the square root of 2 and 9 times the square root of 2. I want to show you guys something really quick. This answer here is correct. 9 times the square root of 2 is 12.72. 18 divided by the square root of 2 is, what do you guys think that's going to be? Yep, same number. Well, I'm just trying to show to you that both answers are correct. Actually, these ones are easier to do without a calculator. Watch. All right, take out a calculator, solve that. Four times square root of two. Already done. So you're telling me you would you're telling me you would rather use a calculator for this okay mm -hmm. okay this is this this is the same problem this is a hypotenuse that does not look like a hypotenuse number though right so we're going to have to figure out what that is. We know it's going to be 41 times some number x. Sorry, 41 is equal to some number x times the square root of 2. Divide both by square root of 2. Cancels out. We get 41 over square root of 2 is equal to x. Technically, that's the correct answer. If you're solving this in the real world, outside of testing world, you could leave it like that. Let's say if you're using carp let's say you were a carpenter. And okay, whatever. Let's say let's say you wanted to cut that triangle and you need to get pieces of wood to fit. Do you think for a second you're gonna be like, oh, I need a forty one divided by square by radical two inch piece of wood? No. So technically most of the time in the real world, you're not going to leave radicals. But since we're in math world right now, we're going to leave it like that. Well, actually not like that. We're going to multiply. We're going to rationalize this. 41 over square. Stop talking over me. Times the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is equal to 41 times the square root of 2 over square root of 4. 41 times square root of 2 is equal. Sorry, divided by 2. That's how it should be.
There's one more thing I want to show you guys. I'm going to show you, I'm going to prove to you why this works. Are we ready to move on to the next problem? No? That's root four. Uh, not today. Okay. Let's try to figure out a general template we can use. We know if this is 45, 45, we know this is x, this also has to be x. And we think, from our pattern, we should know that this hypotenuse should be x times what? But let's prove that it's actually x times square root of 2, because if we can prove it here, it works for all numbers. We're using Pythagorean's theorem, right? a squared plus b squared equals c squared. This is our a. This is our b. This is what we think our c is. So I'm not going to calculate that part out yet. We have a, which is x squared, plus b, which is also x squared, is equal to c squared. And our goal is to see if c is the same number as that. If those two match, we prove our pattern, right? Okay, combine like terms, we get 2x squared is equal to c squared. We're looking for c, right? So we take the square root of both sides. We get square root of 2x squared is equal to c. Uh-oh, that doesn't quite match up, does it? Why does that match up? Because it's not, it's not simplified, right? This is not simplified to be that. This is the whole reason why I'm trying to teach you you have to simplify things. Because you won't be able to see, you won't be able to prove things later. We know radical 2 times x squared is the same thing as radical 2 times x times x. Do we agree here? We're looking for pairs and we're going to shove them outside of the radical. This is our first pair. Is there any other pair there? So the x goes on the outside, what's left over? Two. Oh, look at that. That's the same thing as that. That is called a proof. We prove that this concept works for every single number. Well, all real numbers, but whatever. Don't worry about that yet. All right. Your homework, I want you guys to finish, is 1 through 14. Blake's already done, it looks like. Except for you didn't do that part. Nope. He's only half done. <laughs>